February is American Heart Month, and uh, what we try to do is increase pa patients' awareness about heart disease and heart attacks. You know, with with heart attacks, um, well, with heart disease being the number one um, lean cause of death in the United States, the, the ma majority of our heart disease is um, coronary artery disease. The one thing we worry about coronary artery disease is heart attacks. And majority, there's over 600,000 heart attacks a year in the United States, and over half of them are patients' first heart attack. It's gotten better and better throughout the years with prevention, risk factors, and other things to not make your first heart attack your last heart attack, but still today, almost 20 to 25 percent of people's first heart attacks, their last heart attack, because it leads to death. So what we like to do, usually your body gives you what we call warning signs before you have a major heart attack. For men and women, it's different. The majority of the previous studies were always done on men, so the major risk factor, the major symptoms we consider with um, heart attacks or maybe, you know, chest pain, but it's not always chest pain. It can be squeezing of the chest, an elephant sitting on your chest, which means pressure, just an uneasy feeling. Your body will tell you if something's going on, so just the key thing is listening to your body. You also may have pain in your left arm, pain in your neck, pain in your jaw. It could be associated with the this discomfort in your chest. Those are all different warning signs. Also, not to take uh, for granted, you can have nausea, you can have some vomiting, or you can have even right arm pain. Those all can be considered to be coronary chest pain, and then that just not to be overlooked. Some may be relieved with different over-the-counter medicines, but if they're not being relieved, getting worse, and then associated with other things like shortness of breath, sweating, feeling very tired and fatigued, those are the other things you want to put together to contact your, um, your health care provider or get to a hospital. Other things, major things that people don't think about that is their activity level. If, if you were able to do, do something three months ago like mow your lawn, climb up a flight of stairs with the groceries, do any type of physical activity and you notice that over a short period of time you weren't able to do that, that's another warning sign that this could be your heart um, having trouble keeping up with the demand because your heart's your, your engine, your heart's your pump and you ha it has to be able to keep up with the demand. So over years, you know, we always say as we get older, we shouldn't, you know, we're not as strong as we were when we were in our 20s, but something shouldn't change over a couple of months. So if something major in your life, decreased activity changes over a couple of months, that's when we start to worry that this could be more than just age catching up with you. It, just, it could be your cardiovascular system and we want to take a hold of that.